Hey everybody, Clint from Robinson Sheetham Farmers Co-op. In this video today, we're gonna to be talking about livestock safety when it comes to hauling them in a trailer out on the road. Um, livestock producers, whether it be cattle, sheep, horses, goats, hogs, whatever, whenever we hauling them behind our vehicle, we have to be very cognizant that they're back there and they're at the mercy of our driving habits. So we have to take things extra easy and slow to make sure they're safe. Because think about kids on a school bus. Kids on a school bus, they have seats to sit in, right? So they have a low center of gravity. <clears throat> Driver goes around a the corner. Um, their low center of gravity is sitting down their seat. That helps them. The driver still has to go slow, but they're sitting down in a safer area than what a cow, horse, whatever animal it is, they're standing up. So if you take a corner faster than you should, it could potentially throw them down and injure them. And we don't want to do that. We want to make sure our animals are safe. So today we're hauling a cull cow to market and uh, on the trip, it's, it's my responsibility to make sure that she's safe. And I'm going to just talk to you about a few things that I like to do. Obviously we know about lights. Our lights need to work. Our tires need to be aired up. But if I'm hauling a single cow, and depending on what kind of trailer that you have, this trailer is equipped with a cut gate right in the center to where I can isolate her towards the front of the trailer, which means her weight, you know, she may be 13, 1400 pounds. Her weight is gonna be more on the, the rear end of the truck than the rear end of the trailer, which it creates for more stability. If her weight's in the back of the trailer, it just makes things get kind of off kilter more than they should. So it's always good to lock them up front if you can. Now, sometimes you may be hauling more than one animal and you don't have that luxury to put them up front. So the entire capacity of the trailer is taken up. Something I like to do for my peace of mind. Come on, come on back, come on back. So the rear door, you have a very large door that opens up the width of the trailer and you have a smaller door, like so. Stranger things have happened before to where if you have a trailer full of cattle or horses, whatever, if you were to hit a bump and somehow that were to come open and you're going down the highway, it's a bad dream. And that has happened before. So for my own peace of mind, I like to carry a small chain like this. Wrap it around the door like that. The door's not going to come open. I mean, that just, it's a small insurance policy to, to give me peace of mind. Of course, with her, she's locked up front anyway, so I don't have to do this. But if you're taking up the whole capacity of the trailer, that's a really, really good thing to do, just in case. Um, now, this is an aluminum trailer which we don't have to worry about it as much, but uh, some trailers have a wooden floor. And when you're hauling animals, of course, there's gonna be manure and urine in the bottom of the trailer. And over time, if you don't clean that out, it can weaken the wood. And if you have a 2,200 pound bull standing on that wood, and he hits a weak spot where you're going down the road, it has happened before. Their foot can break through and be dragging the pavement at 60 mile an hour. We don't want that. That's bad. That's bad. That's about as bad as it gets. So it's always a good idea. Listen. She's using the bathroom right now. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So whenever we get up hauling, it's always a good idea. Get in there the hose pipe pressure washer. Spray it out. And your trailer will last so much longer. Especially if it has a wood floor. Got to get that. Got to get that excrement out of there. So we don't want it to eat through the wood because it potentially endangers the cattle. And uh, like I said, tires, lights, we want to make sure all that stuff is, is taken care of and safe. But really, being cognizant of when we're hauling the animals to where they're, like I said, they're at the mercy of our driving habits. And we have to take it slow and easy and just make it an easy, stress-free ride for them. That's very important. Y'all, we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you have a great week, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.